a gate to hell itself, children hung from a tree, a tragic plane crash, Satanist cults, Matt Lang and Noah Hamrick investigate a place known to the Native Americans as a place of evil. Who or what are we going to find on this episode of The Paranormalists? started in 1887. It was started by a group of Quakers who came out from Chicago. I've heard several stories over see, the years. I've been here for about five years. It's they worked at the museum, so I've seen heard many different versions of stories throughout Weir's history. One satanic cults, one groups of serial killers, others even aliens. Along with urban myths and dark tales from Turnbull Canyon, this town has a buried secret. Today, children play in couples picnic unaware of hundreds of bodies left remaining just below the surface. The cemetery, technically, if you consider land that has dead people in it, is still there. But uh, the, the grave uh, markers were removed. A cemetery with no headstones. All right, so we got to use a lot of tact in this area just because there's still people around. Yeah. Oh, I feel in this area, this there's definitely some sort of charge here. We are now at Founders Memorial Park, dubbed Dead Men's Cemetery. This cemetery was active from 1907 to 1958. Since then, the cemetery had been moved to about 15 minutes down the road. Since it has been moved, all the gravestones are now gone, although some of the bodies still remain. We don't know which bodies remain, but we were told that bodies were left here due to some families not having enough money to relocate their loved ones that they had laid to rest. We're here to see if we can communicate with the spirits that were never allowed to rest due to the fact that this is now an active park. Is there any spirit here with us right now that wishes to make themselves known. Did you hear that? <laughs> Please communicate with us. We're here to talk. Can you state your name for us? Do you know where you are right now? Are you upset that they moved the cemetery and left you behind? How did you pass? Did you hear that? No. Roll that. Are did, there any I malicious something. spirits Please. here with us right now? Please make yourself known. Touch one of us. Speak into this device that I'm holding in my hand right now. There's something there. So there was a few things that we we could hear. One of them, it looked like, a, or sounded like a deep, like sigh or growl or something of the sort. Uh, another one, it sounded like words, but it was so, so silent. Well, there was also one that sounded almost like, like foot. Like footsteps. Foot, yeah, footsteps almost. It was like really low. Is anyone there? Can you tell us your name? Couldn't tell what that was saying. What are you doing here? Do you know what happened to you? Yeah, that was a growl. When did you die? 
How did you die? Yeah, I heard a woman's voice. So we, we got a few things, uh, a couple uh, sem semi-intelligent responses. So, I mean, if we're getting anything, then there's something there. Yeah. Uh, there's another jump right there, only to one. So there's something, but we don't know. It's, it's not enough to be like, oh yeah, right. yes, this place is haunted. Right. So as of right now, without further analysis, we can't say this place is haunted. We can't say it's not. Right. So it's going to require diving deeper into uh, the evidence that we have uh, accumulated in order to determine whether or not this place is debunked as haunted or not. Right. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and continue. Let's, uh, let's uh, wrap up here and uh, head over to our next location. All right. Sounds good. At 3.34 a.m. on April 18, 1952, a C-46 prop plane crashed into the hillsides above Whittier, claiming the lives of all 29 passengers. Is this actually part of the plane that, that crashed? Yes, that's correct. This is a genuine real piece from the plane from flight 416. This actually was part of the plane that was recovered in the crash at St. Petrival Canyon. Was this crash in the dark place a coincidence? or a byproduct of something more sinister. Turnbull Canyon was known as the dark place to the Gabrielinos. These Native Americans considered this place off limits. The Native Americans were, were badly treated. Right. They'd say a lot of them forced into slavery, basically building parts of the missions, other houses in that area. Right. Because they were taken from this location. Urban legend tells us that this region is haunted by the ghosts of the natives who were massacred for not converting to Catholicism. So guys, we are now heading into Turnbull Canyon towards what is called the Hanging Tree. Matt, you want to kind of specify on that one? Yes. So according to the folklore and uh, all of the uh, rumors about this place, there was a tree that was dubbed the Hanging Tree. Back in the day with all of the cult activity and the Satanism that took place here, these, uh, these Satan worshippers would abduct or adopt kids from the east inside of the town they would take these children out here into the canyon and what they would do to them is truly grisly to this day it is said that while hiking the trails you may catch a glimpse of them still hanging still unable to rest so we have just now arrived at the base of the hanging tree we're coming down the path right now. We're about uh, 30, 40 feet from the tree itself. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start setting up to uh, get some uh, EVPs and uh, start some communications here in this location. Uh, we should uh, encounter a great deal of activity here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and set up. We are now gonna do a EVP session. I'm gonna have the recorder here. I'm gonna ask it a few questions. See if we can get any responses going. While I'm doing this, Matt here is going to be uh, using the stethoscope that he has here to really drown out all the ambient noises around us and try to focus more on the quiet details and stuff. Maybe he can pick up something that we can't or vice versa. And so, I want to emphasize that our shooting here is very raw and we are here to reveal the truth. Right. If we don't find anything, then we're not going to report anything. Exactly. We're not going to make stuff up. Just, exactly. That's just not what we're show. about. Exactly. So behind us right now, what you see is the hanging tree. Is anything here with us right now? What is your name? Did you die here in the valley? We know you're here. Come speak to us in this device he's holding. You're breathing. Is there anything that you would like to say?
not catching anything. Okay. No, I didn't carry anything. So that one. we didn't catch anything with the EVP or with the stethoscope. Right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, move to using the spirit box. Is anything here with us right now? Tell us your name. How old are you? Are you a child? Were you hung on this tree? You hear that? Boy. It sounded like a kid's voice. Is there something or somebody with you? A few. It sounded like he said a few. A few. A few. Speak into the device that I'm holding in my hand. Do you have something to tell us? It sounded like he said, what? I can't believe. I can't believe that. Is that it, it sounds like it's something. I can't. I can't something. What's your name? While asking questions, we clearly hear what sounds like a child's voice. Listen closely. That was a new voice. Yeah, that was another child's voice. Okay, right now I'm speaking to the demonic spirit, the entity here that haunts people. People say they see you hanging from trees. Make yourself known. Touch me. Move something. Throw something. Sound like you said why. Come on, show us what you got. Do you want us to leave right now? If you want us to leave, you're going to have to give us a sign. Sure proof. Don't stop talking to us. Come on. We want to know your story. That was a lot. That was like a full sentence. Yeah. I, feel, I keep feeling something behind me. Are you standing behind me right now? After feeling a presence behind me, we all heard the disembodied scream of a woman. What? A truly chilling experience. I've got, I've got full body chills. Firstly, we want to say, do not try this at home. There are some things that we say out here to some of these spirits in order to coax them to, to make a move. By telling a spirit to show you what it's got is almost inviting it. That being said, we just conducted our EVP. We did our spirit box and I used the stethoscope to see if I can drown out the noise and catch anything. The EVP came up with nothing on it same as the stethoscope however with the spirit box session i personally feel like we actually did get a few uh voices on it yes there was a couple times i was kind of uh i kind of thought that maybe we picked up a radio station because it sounded like music a little bit but as for the voices though there was this one time when it actually came in just clear as day static stop and it was a pretty decent it yeah. felt like a pretty well put together sentence it had a it had tone to it its did. voice it did it really did so i kind of feel like we really got something there so we're actually heading towards a location known as hell's gate which is potentially a portal to hell itself uh, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and check that out real quick and we'll meet y'all there after our investigation at the hanging tree we are headed down the road to hell's gate the same stretch of road that after being shot in the head, a young girl was brutally dragged over five miles behind a car. Another life claimed in Turnbull Canyon.
This dark place is also said to be home to a gateway, a portal to hell itself. Said to be created by a satanic cult that often performed rituals. Devil's Gate, let's see, as people like to call it now, was actually the admission to a small little house that was up there, like a smaller mansion. Okay. And so, so there would have been a house up, a bigger house up that way, which has now been long gone. And the Forge of the Gates are what's just left standing. So we're at Hell's Gate. Actually, just past it, right behind us here. Off to the right a little bit, you can see the bars of Hell's Gate itself there. So we came off into a little passageway from the, the gate on this side. We believe that if there is a portal here, that it may reside in this opening or through the actual gate itself. Again, we want to reiterate that this may have been the location of Anton LaVey's house, which is the leader of the Leviathan Church of Satan. That is speculation. At this point, we have no definitive proof that that is real. But we cannot deny the feelings that we're getting in this spot. I'm getting chills. I have a very, very bad feeling of dread. Uh, I, can't, I cannot deny that. I also brought the spirit box with us. We're going to do a spirit box session real quick as well. See if we can't pick anything up here. Yeah. yeah. We're here to find out what may be lurking in this area. Definite feelings of dread. We're going to go ahead and conduct a spirit box session in this area. It is very close to witching hour, so we're hoping we catch some uh, pretty, pretty solid proof of the uh, supernatural here. Is there anything here with us now? Can I duck this a little bit? Is there any spirit, presence, or entity with us here right now? Please let yourself be known. What is your name? Are there any demonic spirits here guarding what may be a portal to hell? I can't tell. We'll have to go back and look at that further. Oh, uh, we're, we're catching, up. uh, let's reverse the sweep rate. Is there anything here with us at this moment? If there is, state your name and what you're doing here. I'm still picking up a lot of radio chatter. Yeah, we're getting a lot of, a lot of feedback here. It really contaminates any type of evidence we may get. It's a little better. Yeah. A little bit. If there's any spirit here, let yourself be known now. We're right, right over the city right now. So we're right by all this, uh, the towers. I'm not, I don't think we're going to be able to get any kind of definitive proof in this location. No, it's going to be hard to distinguish what's what. 
So the only thing we can do uh, is see if we can get an EVP. Yeah. Uh, and if we can't get anything on the EVP, we're not going to be able to, to get any type of proof in this location. Right. Um, unfortunately, there's just too much around this spot. And uh, if we're being honest, it's, we're not going to be able to get any kind of real proof. Right. And we don't want to skew one way or the other for any location because we are about seeking out the truth. And if we can't find the truth, then we, we have to move on. We spent the entire night investigating hot spots in the canyon. We have come to the conclusion that this place is in fact haunted. After our experiences here, we warn all who visit to be wary.